What happens when you're asked to find the volume of a figure like this? You can't just start multiplying all the numbers together and hope to come up with the volume because our, our formula says volume equals length times width times height. Well, we can't figure out one uh, height here. For instance, we have five centimeters here and two centimeters. So what do you do? Well, to do this problem, you have to actually break them up into two smaller uh, solids. So now you can start to see how this is broken up. We can see that we have a rectangle here, or sorry, we have a prism here and a prism here, both rectangular prisms. So now what do we do? You can see that I have highlighted certain numbers because those are the numbers we're going to use. To further illustrate that, why don't we pull them apart? Starting to make sense? So now we want to find the volume of this one and the volume of this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over a little bit so we have some room to work. So the first one we're going to take the volume equals, again write out your formula, length times width times height. We're going to look first for length. Right here is 2, so volume equals 2 times the height would give us 5. Oh, I'm sorry, we should be doing width. Width is also 2. And the height is 5. Now the order doesn't really matter because we're the commutative property of multiplication, but we're going to try to keep it all lined up for our sake. Now, the volume equals 2 times 2 is 4 times 5. And the volume equals 20. Let's look at our label. Our label is centimeters, so we're going to have centimeters cube. Let's go on to the other problem. Doing the same thing, we're going to have, first let me move that down a little bit, over here. Okay, we're going to have volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals our length would be four centimeters, our width would be two centimeters, and our height would be two centimeters. So now, volume equals eight, four times two is eight times two. Volume eight times two is 16 centimeters cubed. We're not done yet, because to combine, if you see the word combine, combine means to add. So the last thing we wanna do is add our two figures. So now we have 20 plus 16, and both these are centimeters cubed. 20 plus 16 is 36 centimeters cubed. That is how you combine volume. So to combine volume, you really break up shapes, solids rather, into two separate small prisms and then solve them separately and add them together to get your answer of 36 centimeters squared. If you're still confused, you can go to watch my volume video on my YouTube page. The link will be in the description of this particular video. It goes over basic volume and also combining volume to the tune of Happy by Pharrell Williams.